Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn about chronic kidney disease on ultrasound. Chronic kidney disease is a long-term condition in which the kidneys lose their ability to function properly. Its most common causes are uncontrolled diabetes and hypertension. It is diagnosed when estimated glomerular filtration rate EGFR is below 60 ml per minute per 1.73 meter square for more than 3 months. The EGFR values are also used in the staging of chronic kidney disease from stage 1 mild to stage 5 which is kidney failure. On ultrasound, a normal kidney has a hyperechoic central renal sinus with hypoechoic cortex and medulla. The medulla is more hypoechoic than the cortex. This is how a normal kidney appears. In chronic kidney disease, the kidney will appear hyperechoic. We see a very bright hyperechoic kidney. The hyperechoic kidney also has a reduced length. It will appear smaller than normal. The cortical thickness will be less than 6 millimeters. Overall, the kidney appears very hyperechoic and heterogeneous, measuring around 7 centimeters in length. The normal length is between 9 and 14 centimeters. The normal cortical thickness is between 7 and 10 millimeters. But in chronic kidney disease, the cortical thickness may be less than 6 millimeters. This is an image showing chronic renal failure, the final stage of chronic kidney disease, stage 5. The kidney is barely visible and mostly appears hyperechoic and heterogeneous with a reduced size. This kidney also has irregular margins. Due to its heterogeneous appearance, there is loss of corticomedullary differentiation. This image shows chronic renal failure in the left kidney. It appears very small and heterogeneous. It also has hyperechoic areas. The hyperechoic appearance is due to formation of scar tissue in the kidney. The Doppler exam of renal artery and its branches can be normal in many cases of chronic kidney disease. But in some cases, you may find increased resistive index. It could be 0 0.9 or 0 0.85. The normal resistive index of the renal artery is usually between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. And the peak systolic velocity is usually less than 180 centimeters per second. In chronic kidney disease, the resistive index can be elevated. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.